Hi, I'm building a power supply and I'll be posting a video of the build. Um, but while I was doing that, uh, th there, is, uh, there was a little circuit that I had to work out. Uh, and I thought I'll make a video with this. Um, so the power supply is a, a dual power, power supply, uh, 0 to 30 volts. Um, and what I wanted to uh, figure out or work out um, in a circuit is um, how to implement a couple of features. Um, so one would be a simple on-off switch. Um, uh, this would be uh, on a soft switch, uh, just disconnecting the output completely from uh, from the terminals, um, and that would be done with two separate switches. Uh, one would be on, uh, one one would be off. Uh, I don't want a single switch uh, to do that because I can accidentally press it twice. So I, I, I just want a uh, positive feedback that uh, you know I've either switched on or off the output um, now the second thing uh, that I wanted this uh, uh, to do is uh, turn it from two separate power supplies into one symmetrical or uh, dual power supply uh, let's call it so if this is plus minus plus minus so if uh, if I chose to make it into a symmetrical this would basically get shorted out, uh, so negative from channel A and positive from channel B. Um, though this can be done with just a piece of wire, but I wanted this to be just a button uh, feature on the, uh, on the front of the instrument. Um, and this would be done with a single uh, uh, single button and some sort of LED um, indicator whether that the bridge uh, mode is uh, enabled. Um, and, this, uh, and the third thing I wanted to add is uh, mains of uh, referencing. Um, so what this would do, uh, depending on uh, whether dual mode is engaged or not, um, this would either, uh, if the dual mode is engaged, uh, this would get grounded. Um, or if it's disengaged, uh, disengaged uh, then the negative terminal uh, would get grounded. Uh, on both sides, uh, so channel A and channel B, uh, the negative ones would get grounded. If the dual is engaged, only the uh, negative of uh, channel A with positive and channel B connected, and that would get grounded. Not this one, otherwise it will get shorted. So, and this would this would get done also with a, a simple switch, on off, um, one button, and a LED. Uh, some sort of uh, lamp or whatnot that that would uh, indicate whether that's uh, whether that's floating or whether that's connected to uh, mains ground. Um, so um, the way I wanted to do that is uh, with those. So I've got uh, got a few of those. Um, those are uh, five amp relays, uh, 24 volts. Um, I mean the the power supply will be on the uh, will go only up to three amps so those are five amp relays so they, they should handle the current um i've got four of those um so this section would uh will cost me uh two relays um this one and this one um reason being this one uh when it disconnects i'm going to be using uh this is a double uh double pole double throw uh type relay i'll be using uh, both uh both sides of it uh, to completely disconnect plus uh, and minus uh uh, from the output terminals on the front of the uh, panel uh, on both sides so effectively I've got four lines that I need to disconnect so and two of those will go to do that um, the duo will be uh, dual mode where it bridges uh, just this part will be done with one uh, and uh, uh, mains earth uh, mains earth grounding will be done with one as well so I've uh, I looked uh, uh, I worked out how to uh, get this connected so this is what I come up with um, so this is the first section so um, this is the uh, part where it's uh, the isolated or the dual mode um, we've got channel 1 uh, uh, channel A channel B and those two are connected so uh, I've replaced on uh, just for the for the sake of uh, uh, you know sketching this up uh, I've replaced the uh, relay symbol with, uh, with just a like call it reversed uh, op amp symbol uh, just a triangle um, this is the uh, switching pin 
uh, this pin, the top pin on the uh, side of the triangle is uh, normally open and the bottom one is normally connected. So uh, the first uh, the first part, that's the two uh, double poles uh, in, a, in the first relay, uh, when it's not engaged it's nothing happens because uh, the uh, this is not uh, not connected to anything so this, this simply is as it is when it's engaged it will uh, connect uh, negative uh, channel A with positive channel B uh, so this uh, this through here will get connected um, now one more thing on the second part uh, where I do the mains ground uh, reference this will um, if I didn't do anything else uh, and I main ground referenced uh, both of the negative ones uh, that would basically short the uh, channel B uh, out because the plus would be ground reference and the minus will be ground reference that will uh, basically kill it um, so the negative side has to go through the second uh, pole of the of the first uh, uh, relay and uh, when it really engages it basically disconnects it from uh, the main uh, ground referencing relay so the second part and the second part the uh, ground referencing relay this will uh, simply pull uh, the two negatives to ground or only the uh, channel one negative which will be uh, when it's shorted uh, to positive channel B and the third bit um, that's quite straightforward it's just two separate relays completely disconnecting anything from uh, output terminals um, this is the last section purposely because I don't want those relays to be connected and uh, you know for example if the dual mode is engaged and uh, those two are shorted out when I disconnect the relay uh, sorry when I switch off the output I want it completely to disconnect from uh, from the output terminals that's why I'm using uh, uh, all four wires. Uh, that's why all the four, uh, uh, four, four wires, if you call them, uh, are switched through a relay. Um, and as I said before, this uh, first section uh, I wanted to be switched by uh, one button soft on on switch. Um, the mains ground again, one button soft on on uh, on off switch, and the output. Uh, this I want uh, purposely. I want this to, uh, to be on two buttons um, separately. Uh, so I get positive feedback um, and I don't accidentally press it twice or whatnot. Um, so um, there will be two little circuits so this and this will be similar circuit in terms of the the switch and this will be slightly different so um, this is the circuit now the circuit is based mostly on uh, what I've had to hand uh, and what I've got floating about in my drawers um, so um, this uh, this uh, MOSFET at the end, this is a huge overkill, that's an RFP 12 uh, N10L, um, it's a big MOSFET, uh, it will handle quite a lot of current and voltage, it's a overkill for this situation, but I just simply have a box of them, so uh, I figured well, I might as well use that as well. Um, the rest of the circuit is pretty much similar to what, uh, uh, what was uh, discussed on EEV blog. Um, with an exception that they've had a uh, MOSFET here, I've just replaced that with a PNP transistor and that in turn drives the, the biggest uh, MOSFET. Um, that's it, other, other than that it's quite straightforward. Um, the two button switch is even simpler, uh, the end bit is the same as the other one, so you, there is that big MOSFET on there. Um, uh, and here it's just simple switch with two transistors one uh, PNP one NPN and when you switch it on at first there is uh, it doesn't do anything until you press the on button which shows the base of the PNP to ground which in turn switches it on that latches on with the second transistor and just keeps this one engaged until you pull the base of the second transistor to ground which switches it off and then it will uh, switch off the the other one and of, of course when this gets switched off uh, the base of the uh, base of uh, sorry the the gate of the uh, MOSFET uh, will uh, get pulled down to the ground and that will basically switch it off. Um, that's it, quite straightforward. Uh, both of both of them. Uh, I've got uh, a relay uh, here with a, just a diode across because you need a diode across the relay because uh, it tends to uh, spike up quite a lot of 
um, vicious voltage uh, when you rapidly switch it off uh, it just wants to stay on uh, so you uh, it will spike up uh, quite a lot of uh, voltage so you just need to uh, reverse connect uh, uh, reversely connect a, a diode uh, across the coil um, so it doesn't blow up the, the rest of your circuit when you uh, operate your relay and um, that's about it so um, later on I will be uh, making this up on a breadboard or on uh, some sort of protoboard and, and get that uh, get that working when it's working I'll stick it, uh, I'll stick it in the uh, in the build, in the power supply. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks.